Our next presenter is Yusuf Musa. Did I say that correct? <laughs> Good. Um, and uh, uh, Yusuf, I believe, has just or very nearly submitted his PhD in the area of spatial sciences. Yeah. And he's been working on a project, um, the Canning River, in 1841 and today. And uh, I'll just pass you the microphone. Okay. Here we go. That's backwards. Ah, this is. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm Yusuf Musa. Um, I'm going to talk about my project, which is the Canning River in 1841 and today. Uh, thanks for my supervisor and uh, all Kirtan Hive and Anne for and everyone uh, support this project. So the outline of the of this presentation will be covering the background information about the existing uh, the survey data. Uh, then I will introduce the survey method which is have been done in 20 years ago. The objective uh, then uh, presenting the result, evaluation and analysis. Uh, the visualization will be and conclusion will be at the end. So as a background for the survey work which have been done in 20 years uh, ago. So it have been done by, by uh, John Bress Price uh, for mapping the record of uh, Governor Hart for Swan River Colony. So the, tech, the tools was used is, the tools was compass, which is for measuring di uh, the direction or bearing. Uh, as well as the survey chain for measuring distances. So the available survey data include two fields book and uh, 14 historical map, all supported by uh, the state record office. So the survey method was uh, to establish a control point, for example, uh, this point here, L and N, so these are here in the historical map, which is this L and N. So first of all, just to take the, the bearing from L to N, which is here is uh, 86. At the same time, measuring the distance between this station L and M, which is here uh, 444 chain, not in meter. So from this, after they establish the L and M, they measuring offset from offset from here to the change location in the river here. So here, this distance or offset here correspond to the 190 uh, 29 change. So doing the same procedure, and they also discovered some uh, interest point. For example, this is house here and trees and they do the, the whole uh, Canning River. So the objective will be, first of all, analyzing the field notes, which is include uh, survey data and historical map. Then convert the field uh, notes into a digital map in a, lo in a local system coordinate. Then it's, this allow for geolocation uh, of the the next step will be geolocation of the digital map. So it is in local system, so it should be, must be geolocated to the actual system. The afterward, we geolocating the historical map based on geolocating survey data first. Uh, independent accuracy assessment and further analysis and with visualization. So the first step is is to convert this here, this survey data here, into a digital map. So L, the point here, L, is here. So it's given arbitrary coordinate. This arbitrary coordinate, it's, uh, we are given it a coordinate uh, as possible as close to the actual location for this. So with now, 
with known direction from L to M and distances, so we could find the location of M. And similarly, we do all of existing field into a digital map here. All these have been done in, uh, in magnet software. So the next step will be just to connect this river, bound, river uh, boundary point from this to that, to this point, and go ahead to, to take the whole boundary point and plot it. So after we plot the river, it's, we import it in QGIS software. So it's located here because we are giving it uh, the, the red line, because we are giving it arbitrary coordinate, close as possible to the actual location. So now we are ge geolocating these, uh, locate the, the, the red line into the actual coordinate system. So we have found, we must found a common point between these two systems because in, in two different systems. So we have found 17 points which is exist in, for example, the point here, it's assumed to be the point here in the open street map, not the red line, the light line, which is the open street map. So these 17 points allow to do, to perform the affine and similarity uh, projection transformation. The similarity has four parameters, which is uh, the rotation, scale, and the translation. The affine transformation has six parameters. So with the translation, uh, there is x, scale in x, scale in y, uh, as well as the rotation, and the skew matrix, the skew, which is related to the uh, non-orthogonality error. So after we have uh, done the similarity and affine, so this river is shifted, as we see here. It's hard to control this. <laughs> so it's shifted from the red line into the dark blue line here. So to assess the accuracy of the geolocating uh, for these 17 points, so the red line here is the, the point in the open street map, while the, the, the green points, which is the survey point, uh, we are going to shift it from the local system to the reference system. So, with using the affine transformation, this point is shifted, for example, this is shifted to here. Uh, this point is shifted to here. So, and this procedure will uh, perform over the whole data set. So the root mean square error we calculated using the affine and similarity is 21.1 uh, .1 and 21.7. So both methods have been implemented to find uh, the geolocating of 1,376 points. Uh, the difference between these uh, points using the different technique is about seven uh, in X and three in uh, Y. This step is about geolocating the historical map. So, the, the historical map has labeled the point, so it's easily, uh, we found uh, 10 points, which is <coughs> exist in the geolocating survey data and labeled in the historical map. So using them uh, and use the three different geolocating techniques, similarity, projective, and thin plate supply. This used in QGIS. So the residual got from similarity is about four meters in X and Y. A projective is 2.2 in, in uh, meter. The, the error using the thin plate subline is zero because the, this method uh, enforce the uh, actual point, the, uh, the point in the reference, in the survey data to be exact position in the uh, actual position. 
as independent accuracy assessment, so we have uh, overlaid the uh, projection, the historical map generated using the projection projective technique, uh, the TSP method and similarity. All these overlaid together. So it's we have found some of uh, building which is exist 200 years ago and exist in the historical map. It is still uh, there in the eagle view. This this uh, building here is exactly here. So measuring the distances from the corner, the the right corner here, to the all the same corner in, in all three uh, generation georeferencing method. So we have found there is 11.8, uh, 13, and 14 meters using the similarity projective and TSB method. It's here, it's, we could uh, state it that the similarity generates more accurate res result than the other. So this, uh, bo this building here, uh, you could see the image. Uh, I don't know the exact year for this, it's in the website. But this is the building here, it's the same, uh, which is in, in 1980, and this is the building today. So, so more analysis for this project, we have found some uh, interesting thing, which is related to the change in, in the river. So looking at this open street map here, so the red, the light, the light uh, line here is correspond to the current position in the open street map. Uh, the blue one, which is the olding path of the river. So you see here it's almost uh, the same, down and up while here is shifted to the west about 70 meters. So overlaid uh, the image with the DAM, so I'm taking a profile from this point to this point. So you see here this profile. Uh, this point, the red, the red arrow here is belong to, the, to this red point, which is, which is the old path of the river. Well, the green arrow, which is belong to the actual position for the river now. So you could see clearly it's the shift from, uh, from east to west. This is actually logical because if you see the, the direction of the water is going from uh, down to the up. So it's look like the river is trying to go straight. So that's why during the time it's going to the west. Uh, in visualization uh, option, so it's these uh, layers, which is the current image taken from Eagle View. Uh, similarly, uh, with the historical maps, all overlaid together in Unity. So it's allow for visual, for more, uh, for different map uh, visual visibilities and the viewing from different direction. So it's also allow for more analysis uh, about any change in the river. As a conclusion, we, we have uh, introduced a framework for transformation of uh, survey data, uh, whatever any projection or without any projection into the current system, for example, the MGA. So as well as we have found there is about 21 accuracy error in the georeferencing of the survey data, which is actually high, but this is uh, depend on the accuracy of the 17 common point be exist between the two systems. Uh, as independent accuracy, also we have found about 13 meters uh, positional error in the georeferencing historical map, and this is actually because the river the river itself it can't be the same position so it's moved somewhere also it's the project have been done in uh, virtual reality uh, using the uh, unity software and thanks for Wesley to help in this thanks any questions <laughs>